Hi everybody, it's Winchester Briar here, and I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. I had laryngitis and I lost my voice, and I was gone for like four days, but it is barely starting to come back. Um, it's a little bit, like you should have heard it, it was literally terrible before. It's coming back though, so we're fine, but today I am going to be talking about the special run that Briar recently has revealed to us, and that is Diana. Picture here. Now, Diana is a bay on the Roxy mold, and I know that a lot of people were kind of irked about it, and I was wondering why, because Diana is absolutely gorgeous. She's this glossy bay. People are speculating she might be the 50-50, you know how Briar always does it, where like half of them are matte, half of them are glossy when you buy them at the store, so Diana, it's speculated she could be one of those. I believe that she is a... Like, um, Wonder Woman she's supposed to represent? I am not familiar with Marvel or DC, so correct me if I'm wrong. I literally don't know. But I think that she's absolutely beautiful. And a lot of people kept saying that, like, there's too many brown horses on the Roxy mold. And the Roxy mold has Don't Look Twice. And they, for some reason, think that she looks like Don't Look Twice. I will put both of them on the screen right here. I don't think they look anything alike. Diana is the first bay on the Roxy mold that they have ever released. If you look at the Identify Your Briar page for Roxy, which I will also try and put here, this mold has so much diversity on it. We've got black horses, we've got pintos, roans, palominos, grulo horses, appaloosas, just so many, so much variety. So to have a bay released. I'm excited about now. I don't conga the mold. I don't know if I'll end up getting her or not. It depends on how much I like the other special runs because I am only paying to have two picked up. So far, Diana's the only one that I kind of like, other than Oliver, which he comes with my two. I'm hoping that that mysterious Bristol is one of the special run, maybe store specials or something. But. I just wanted to give you my personal thoughts on Diana. I like her a lot. I think that it's awesome that Briar is releasing a bait on this mold because everyone, there's a lot of people who have been like, oh, I can't wait for Briar. Briar needs to release just a nice bay on the Roxy mold. And they finally have, and there's been a lot of complaints. I feel like there's just been a lot of complaints overall about this Briar Fest, and I've been wondering why, because I think that, I mean, I don't personally love any of the molds that they're choosing, but they are trying to be out there and creative with their colors and everything like that. I don't know. I don't think that they can make anyone happy at this point. I hope that they try to make everyone happy, but you know. I'm hoping for a Bristol or a Dundee. That Bay Bristol, like I said, will be the one that I snatch up. There's probably, I don't know how many more models are going to be released. Um, I can't do the math in my head right now. It's foggy. I'm still like barely getting over being sick with laryngitis, but... Which is a weird thing. It's like you just lose your voice and then nothing else. You don't feel congested. You don't... Nothing else. It's really weird. It's... If you ever... It's the first time that I've ever got it. I've been alive for 21 years. And I've never had anything like this ever happen to me. And I was so shocked. But from what I understand, the air quality in Salt Lake is like super bad. Well, from what I can see, not even what I understand. I didn't grow up here. I just go to college here. So where I grew up, there wasn't pollution. I mean, probably very minimal compared to here. So, they say that that is probably what caused it. Lucky me, am I right? But yeah. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on Diana. I am waiting for Catch Me to come out, and then I will be releasing the 2019 Briar video. Sorry, that's taking so long. It's not my fault. It's Briar's fault. I did end up buying Dominante on, e on Amazon, because I was going to buy two anyways. One of them is going to be accustomed to um, a buckskin. And I forgot to film, I have a custom over there that I'm working on that's a Palomino Harley D-Zip or Latigo. And I was going to film a tutorial on how I painted him, but I totally didn't do it and he's almost done. And there's also a Grace Monty Jones that I painted that I totally forgot and a Chestnut Paddock Pal. I will get better about it guys, I promise. I really am sucky, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. And for continuing to support my videos. If you have any ideas of things that you want to see, comment them down below. I'm always trying to come up with ideas. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to film, but I do try and set aside 
like at least a chunk of time each week to kind of get my videos done because I'm more than one channel. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you in whatever my next one maybe.